Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm back and we doing it again. Man, back with another little vlog, man. I'm about to... <sighs> trying to see what if, what's the weather like out here. Because I think I'm about to take Ace to like the little, little field and let him play around a little bit. Dude, it looks so good out here. And it feel good out here too. All right, just look, just check it out. Just look at it. He's on the lake. Look at that view. That's amazing. Yeah, man, I'm about to, um, I'm about to try to take Ace to the park. Um, well, at least a little field on, on my college campus that, like, people just come out there and, and just, you know, you bring your dogs out there and throw the ball or whatever. People out there playing soccer and everything. So we finna go out there today. And I'm finna, you know, play around with him a little bit. And I'm trying to, um, I'm still trying to train him. Like, he pretty much knows all his basic commands. Except, you know, he he's a beagle, so he has a hard time, like, coming back when I let him off leash. So that's that's the only thing that I really need to get him locked down on. So like I really, I really hate the fact that my campus is like 20 minutes away from my, uh, from my apartment complex. So every day when I'm going to class, to all my classes, I have to leave like 30 minutes early just to be there on time. Cause you know, they gotta find your park. <sighs> so this is, this is, but I mean, that's the only downside to, to these apartments because these apartments are dope and I like them. And um, yep. Ace. <laughs> what you got? He's always all up in my face, like all the time. Every time we're in the car, this is this is how he rides. No matter how, no matter like how um how far the ride is, like you know. But of course, like when I'm going home. When I'm going back to Cleveland, which is like two and a half hours away, I, p I just put him in a cage and put him in the back seat. So, you know, it's a little safer that way. Yep. But we are on our way, man. <laughs> your seatbelt on man safety first okay you don't care about safety huh safety first man well I know I can't really be talking when I'm when I'm vlogging and driving but still safety first I got on I have on my seatbelt I always look always put your seatbelt on bro I know people have like mixed mixed feelings about seatbelts and uh some people are like well some people died because they were wearing their seat belts but that's why the seat belts were made if it wasn't to protect you then they wouldn't have put it in the car i'm pretty sure it's a bunch of sides behind um why why seat belts are in the car and they're in the car for a reason they're not just for decoration because they don't really do much for decoration so put your seat belt on man like I, it man even though people may have 
like died because they were wearing their seatbelt and like couldn't get out of something like on a train track you know how to look that i get a little stuck and little boo -boo -boo -boo. but it it increases your chances of living if you are in a car accident like what if you're in like a head-on collision well i don't know it's, it's looking slim anyway for that but um if you you know if you're in a real bad car you, you left me ace you just gonna leave me like that just gonna go to the back you don't love me no more but anyway man yeah like you know you you have a better chance of surviving the the crash if you if you just put on your seatbelt like it takes like two seconds like two seconds to put your seatbelt on so just throw the little bubble with the boot and then go ahead and drive you know like it's, it's not it's not hard it's not it's not hard it's not complicated you know, you can do it with one hand, look, boop, boop, whoop, the whoop. You feel like, you might have to put the on, man. But, uh, Ace left me. He's in the window right now. Should I let it down? Yeah, I'll, I'll let it down. Police came, I had to put the camera down. Like, mm, I ain't gonna pull me over for nothing. I got, mm mm. Yo, don't pull me over at all. We almost here, man. So, yeah, I am gonna see y'all when we get there. Oh, uh, Ace and his friend Murph. They out here playing, man. I'm a little bit scared to take Ace off the leash because this field is 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 huge and it's not a fence around it. So Ace is a little bit um a little wild when it comes to off leash. So Ace and Murphy. Okay, well, I may need to let Ace off leash on and let him let him play. Murph, come here, Murph. Okay. okay. <laughs> he went through my leg. What color is it? Gotcha. It's in the dark oh, it's right here. No. Yeah. <laughs> I found it. Um, and I threw it, and it landed in the pond yesterday. And he didn't oh get wow! It. So that's at, like at, at, at your apartment? Yeah. It's like his favorite ball. It's in the pond, just sitting there floating. Like, uh, the, the other one, like it's the, like a bigger, like dark, uh, green glow in the dark ball. Oh It's like damn. soft, so it bounces really, really high. Uh huh. And you threw it, and it's in the lake. Yeah. It's, just, it's floating. Yeah. Just go like get it. In the middle, it won't move. Go, go get it. Go, go for a swim. Yeah, right. <laughs> Say what's up to Logan, man. Ooh, we out here, man. I here with the dogs. Yeah, we, we're out here. We, we out here. Sure. We out chill. <laughs> it always looks like they playing rough, but it's just what they do. It's like how they play. Oh. Whew. So we just left the the little um. The little field and um Ace is Ace is tired. He is really tired right now. And um that's good because the more you tire your dog out, the less stuff they'll get into. You know? The more exercise you give them, like the easier it is to like train them and all of that. So But the thing is with Ace, he he I didn't get it on camera, but Ace literally like ran off like he took off. Like I know that's like the first instinct of a beagle and I kind of knew what I was getting myself into before I got them. But at the same time, they also said that it was just hard to train a beagle, period. And Ace has been doing good with training. Like he does his sit down, all of that. As far as like coming back when I call him. 
yeah no it was a thought to like just get ace to a like a professional trainer and get him to you know get him right or whatever but I don't know, man. I, I train him. I train. I train him to do everything that he knows on my own, and he knows how. He knows how to do a good amount. Like he he knows how to wait for his food. Like when I put his food down, he doesn't touch it until I tell him it's okay, and um and all of that. And I, I train him that by myself, and I just feel like it'll be cheating if I take him to a professional trainer. But I feel like that might be the like the safest option like the safest option for him because I really don't want Ace to be like just taking off every time I take him off leash because look at him he's tired but one day yeah because like one day I might take him off the leash and what if it's a car coming or something like that so I might end up having to just send him to a um, or take him to a um, professional trainer man so we can get this settled and we can just get him trained and, and he'll be good on that aspect Back up. Back up. Lay down. Okay. Let me tell y'all what he's did today. So. We were at the little park, right? The little grass area that we were at today, the where I was letting Ace play. So I already knew, it's, it's really my fault because I already knew that Ace wasn't like that good. I even told y'all, I already told y'all before um, I even took him out there that he's not that good with, you know, like coming back when I call him and stuff. So um, I was a little skeptical about letting him off leash, but I did it anyway, cause I wanted him to have fun and stuff. And, um. So I let him off and he was playing with the other dog and they were having a good little time. You know, they was tussling and doing their thing, chasing the ball and everything. And then all of a sudden, Ace just, he took off. Like he, he just ran away. Like, and um, so I was, we was calling him and he was not listening. Like he was in like my sight but like it's like he just left like he zoned out like he his nose he put his nose to the ground and once that happened it was gone i don't know if he caught a scent or what because i mean he is a hunting dog but i don't know if he caught a scent or what but after he after he put that nose to the ground he was gone like he was gone and then we were just calling him ace ace come here ace and hey he was not paying us any attention like he could see us mm -hmm. Like in the distance, but he was not paying us any attention, and that that like kind of spooked me out a little bit. And I was like, man, let me let me go get him. So I, I I walked over there to go get him, and I was just calling him. I was like, come here, he's come here, but normally uh, he'll come. And I guess he he wasn't ready to come back. And 
I think I, had, I took the leash with me and I guess he saw me with the leash and he like started trotting a little bit like he wanted to run away. So I just, I I um I walked up behind him where he couldn't see me and then I just started running after him. And then when I got close, he saw me and he took off. And he took off, I, I really wish I could have got it on film, but I was too like scared that he was gonna like just take off and I couldn't get him or, what, or whatever. And I didn't want him to like run in the street or nothing. So I ain't full out no camera and I couldn't film this part. I really wish I could have because it was it was funny but it was scary at the same time because I ain't want him to get hit or nothing like that. And um I I was running after him and he, he like he I guess he heard me coming behind him and he just he just started taking off. So I was like, man, I'm already into it now. I man I I'm this far, I might well commit to it. So I dove, I like jumped, <laughs> and uh, I jumped and I grabbed him. Like if I had, if I had a missed him, then when I jumped, like when I dove to grab him, he was gonna be gone. Like he was gonna be, he was gonna take off. But I caught him and then I put the leash back on him, man. <sighs> my little heart, my poor little heart was just like, Lord, what I'm gonna do with him, man? But yeah, man, if y'all enjoyed this vlog, man. Y'all let me know, man, and just, just like, bro, shh, like, abuse that like button. Just abuse it, like, just, uh, like, just, uh, 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 just abuse the like button. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, just like it up, man, and um, comment, man. Y'all need, y'all don't comment, bro. I don't know. Y'all y'all don't comment, man. Y'all be leaving me hanging. I be like, yo, why are they not coming? <laughs> But yeah, y'all gotta uh, y'all gotta let me know, man. If y'all um like what I'm doing or whatever, y'all just help me out, man. Because we finna grow. We gonna grow, man. We we on the road to 1K right now, man. We on the road to 1K. So share, like share the videos or like screenshot it and put it on your Snapchat or something and let folks know, man. You gotta support the movement, you know. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the whole shebang. And uh, I see y'all next time.